my 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road is finally getting its much needed Icon suspension upgrade. Stay tuned to the very end and you'll see the comparison from before and after and we'll get out on a little trail ride just to test it out. So it's finally happening. Finally getting my new suspension put on next weekend. So in the meantime, I thought I'd do a before, and then once it's on, I'll, I'll show you guys an after. Um, currently, I've got the stock Bilstein suspension on here that came with the TRD off-road, but I put a add a leaf in the back, which gave me about an inch and a half, but then you add the weight, probably put it back to normal. And then in the front, I have a one and a half inch spacer lift. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going with the new Icon uh, suspension system, which overall should give me about two and a half inches from stock plus I'm going from the 32s to the 33s so we'll see what it what it ends up uh, being but we'll take some measurements now and uh, we'll see afterwards so I'm 17 17 inches right there the bottom of the frame And 16, 16 and 3 fours right there. At the top. Let's take a look at the back. Twenty-two and a half there. And 23 at the rear. Trailer hitch is at 18 and a half. Obviously I've got the high clearance rear bumper already. Gave me some extra clearance back here, but I'm hoping to get between one and two inches of additional clearance with the new lift and tires and wheels. Saturday afternoon, heading out of town just for a quick overnighter to Lytle Creek. Give a shakedown to my new Icon suspension system with the CD EV. So I'm able to control it uh, here from, from my phone. One of the things I love about the suspension system is the fact that it's electronically controlled. Right here from the app on your phone, just hit that. You've got Active Drive. You can record what it's doing so you can look back. Normal, off road, adjust the front and the rear, and then to Toy Hall. Again, it adjusts cornering, the up and down. Love it. Here we go, entering the uh, National Forest. Yeah, I think the trail is here on the left somewhere. Yeah, it's right behind me. Gate's open, that's a good sign. Yeah, yes.
clearly they had a fire come through here. I think this was two years ago when that happened. All right, let's switch the suspension over to off-road mode. There we go. No having to get out of the vehicle and dialing it down. So that's not good when the Smokey the Bear sign gets burnt. Okay, got a little bit of snow on the ground still up here. Hoping the wind dies down a little bit. Oh yeah, nice. Absolutely gorgeous out there. You can see the valley. Very cool. bit more snow. It's dropped down to 51 degrees now. Some uh, serious little snow here. Yeah. Probably going to be a little chilly here. Cool. Oh, this is slick. Made it up to this relay station here. Beautiful view. See uh, Victorville off into the distance there. You got Big Bear up there, San Gregonio, San Jacinto. That's Fontana, Rancho Cucamonga. Sun starting to set, we decided to set up camp. We got camp set up here. Wes trying to heat up the forest there. Beautiful sunset. A little breezy up here. 
Hoping the wind dies down a little bit. But look at that, just gorgeous. Loving the tough stuff. Alpha 2. And uh, my new Icon suspension. It's tires and wheels, just incredible. Couldn't be more happy. Look at those beautiful things. Oh yeah. Beautiful lights out there. See the lights of LA. There it is. Oh, look at that. Of course, we did not forget our veggies. Let's do it. Very civilized. It's like cantaloupe. Not <laughs> music. Balsamic glaze. Let's try this steak here. That is like butter, dude. Not too shabby. Fantastic. Yeah. Cheers, good dinner. So this was a quick local overnighter had a had a good time able to test out the new suspension up here in Lytle Creek worked real well very happy with it it was cold last night dropped down to probably about 35 see the uh, snow still up here it's very icy on the way down Hey everybody. Okay, I gave you the before. We went on a little trip, tested it out. Now here's the after. I'm very happy how this turned out. So these are the BF Goodrich KO2s, 285, 70 R17s. It's about a 33 inch tire, about an inch bigger than what was on there, and two inches bigger than what came with stock. As you can see, there is not any room to spare. They did do some cutting of some plastic there and here in the front. But so far, no issues with rubbing. So the Icon Thrust smoke I think it called smoke gray smoke black and the billet control arms up there the compression dampening electronic valve able to control that with my phone don't have to get out and dial anything up so let's see how this thing measures up now 17 here in the front Eighteen right there at the body mount. This is what they call the stage nine. I'm especially pleased with how high the rear is. Obviously, I've got the high clearance rear bumper on here, and I had an Ada Leaf before. But with all the weight, I've got the deck drawers, the rooftop tent, the rack, it really it really sagged up. And you can see it has brought it up quite a bit, even with the weight in the back. 26 inches right here at this corner. And 28 here at this corner. That is quite a bit higher. Hitch is 22 inches. 
22 inches of clearance right there. Very, very nice. Still able to get the full size spare. Squeezed right on in there. Time won't stop, so gonna get on the ride. Twisting and turning through life. No matter how rough it gets, I'll get by. Click on the links in the description for more info on this. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's in every dream I make my own. I'm never alone. I know that every day will always bring me something new. Oh.